The United States Department of Energy conducts rigorous blade testing. They test the lifespan of certain blades and their materials in a few short months to see how they will stand up to extreme weather conditions over the course of approximately 20 years. In dynamometer test facilities, engineers evaluate drive trains that are exposed to varied simulated wind conditions to research the durability and reliability of the shafts, gearboxes, and generators. Housed within the nacelle, gearboxes run from the rotor hub to the generator. The rotor hub is connected to a low-speed, larger gear, which is connected to a higher-speed, smaller gear. With variable loads that are difficult to predict, wind turbines demand high-performance gearboxes. The rotational speed increases as the torque drops, all while the total power remains the same. An electrical generator converts the mechanical energy into electrical energy using electromagnetic induction. A typical generator uses an electromagnet and has a series of insulated coils of wire on a cylinder. This cylinder surrounds a rotary electromagnetic shaft. When the electromagnetic shaft rotates, it induces a small electric current in each section of the wire coil. The sections of the wire each become a small electric conductor. The individual small currents are added together to form one large current. This current is then sent down the tower to the electrical grid. Research is ongoing into improving generator efficiency. One promising alternative to wound rotors in the generator is the use of rare earth permanent magnets. Despite their scarcity in the United States, manufacturers research the use of these magnets because unlike copper windings, their high energy density eliminates excess weight and size, reduces insulation degradation, shorting, and electrical losses. However, with rare earth permanent magnets, generators will require better cooling devices because the magnets cannot be exposed to high temperatures without permanent degradation of their strength. Wind turbines have controllers to ensure that the systems are all doing their jobs with maximum efficiency. Dozens of sensors control rotor speed, blade pitch angle, torque to the generator, and power conversion voltage. The controller is also equipped with sensors that make critical safety decisions. When extreme wind conditions persist, the pitch control systems quickly shut down the rotors from spinning and direct the blades by furling them so that the edge of the blade is facing into the wind.